I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. How we can get more young people involved. Um, I think to just tell them the truth. Tell them how it is. And um, because when I found out how it actually was, that made me furious. So I was... I wanted to do something about it. Everyone who will walk up to me after this testimony saying that I have such a bright future ahead of me will be lying to my face. It doesn't matter how talented we are. It doesn't matter how much work we put in, how many dreams we have. The reality is my generation has been committed to a planet that is collapsing. The fact that you are staring at a panel of young people testifying before you today, pleading for a livable earth, should not fill you with pride. It should fill you with shame. Some people say that the United States should not dramatically reduce our emissions because China and other countries aren't doing enough. I'd like to have your view on that and have each of the witnesses comment on that briefly. I think that's a false approach uh, because we've never in history looked at uh, a problem that we contribute in the United States and said, well, if it's happening somewhere else, then we shouldn't fix it. Uh, so I don't think that that's a reasonable excuse. If we are the country that we say we are, if we're the leaders that we say we are, we need to lead by example here and work on our, what we're doing here so that the rest of the world can follow our lead. I am from Sweden. It's a small country. And there it is the same argument. Why should we do anything? Just look at the U.S., they say. So uh, just so you know, that's, that is being used against you as well. As it is now, people in general don't seem to be very aware of mm. the actual science and the, how severe this crisis actually is. So I just think we need to inform them and start treating this crisis like, like the existential emergency it is.